Hi, I'm Matt Barinholtz. And I'm Ryan Hammond. We're from Future Makers. And today we're going to be lighting up an LED circuit. Makers uses LEDs all the time, from pre-K all the way into high school. It's a low-tech, easy way to integrate what feels like very high-tech materials into any kind of project that you can imagine. So, something as simple as this can become, you know, sort of cute. So an LED is a light emitting diode. A light emitting diode is a one-way street for electrons, so they need to enter through the negative leg and exit through the positive leg. There are three main parts of the LED that you really want to know about. The first two are the legs. The legs actually connect the LED to the power source, your electrical energy. Um, and the third part is the superconductive material, which actually transforms the electricity into photons, into light energy, and emits that out of the LED. LEDs are not a fancy special material. If you know where a Radio Shack is, you can find LEDs. Those drawers in the back that you never know what people look for in, They've got LEDs in there. And you have two main ingredients in any circuit that has an LED. The LED itself and a coin cell battery. These are very, very similar to hearing aid or watch batteries, but the most important thing to remember is find batteries that are 3 volts. If you have a 3 volt battery and an LED, any young person can create a circuit like that. In order to actually use these materials, um, you need to be able to identify the positive and the negative for both the battery and the LED. So in order to do this, you can look really closely. We have on this one marked to make it clear for the camera. But if you look very closely, you can see a plus sign on the, si on the shiny side and little dots on the negative side of the battery. If you look at the LED itself, you can see that one of the legs is longer. This is your positive leg. So in order to remind yourself, you can bend it to give it a little foot. That will be helpful later. So the simplest form of this circuit is to actually just slide the LED onto the battery directly. There are no wires involved and no copper tape, none of that fancy stuff. Um, and you can see if I flip the LED to connect the positive leg to the negative terminal of the battery, it doesn't work anymore. So that's an example, again, of the LED being a one-way street for electrons. We like to start with sculpture and a dollar store foam ball, a coin cell battery, push them together, and then connect the positive and the negative to the right place. And you have a very simple glowing eyeball. Creatures with eyes are pretty popular with young people. And it's a fantastic and simple way to start.